and sped off. Heh, <laughs> pulling out. Anyways. Uh, hello everyone. Hello. Hi, how are you? Is it me? You're looking. I can see you in your- hello. Welcome to today's Not my hello. <laughs> God damn it, Steam. Steam, congrats on first. On Freef. Spikey, congrats on Threef. Three. <laughs> I I had to I was in between reading name and like understanding name and they were like different things. Win, congrats on con congrats on second. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Xander, thank you for the lurk. Hope you enjoy. Also, don't strike me from the uh, darkness. Please. I'm tired. Hi, tired. I'm Sam. I can't. Doc, breathe. Speaking of which, tired, who are you? Fuck off. I'm not going. I'm waiting. I am the mini Eddie. I am the Yeti VTuber. Uh, I am currently on a hiatus because my capture card melted. Oof. It uh, actually melted? Uh, the circuit board inside got too hot, and now it only plays at one note. Like, it only plays oh. audio at one note, so the audio is kind of just fucked. Oh. <laughs> Alright, then. So, All yeah, right. I won't be streaming until I get a new capture card. Cool. That's fun. What? Wait, did Mortra come back? That's a good question. I didn't even know she left. I'm sorry. No, it was before everyone joined. I'm a bad. She's getting food. I'm a bad GM. Bad god, mommy. Eh. I was gonna agree with you, then you did that. <laughs> <laughs> bonus points if you get the um. Bonus points if you get the reference. It sounded familiar, but I can't. I can't pinpoint it. No, no, I'm bad llama. Eh. Oh, Lamper's new groove. Lamper's new groove. Yep. Yeah. Alright, none of you get advantage for this next roll. It's one of my favorite movies. How did I not get that? I don't know. Have you ever seen a movie yes. where you see the actor in, in so many movies and you can just never remember the actor's name? Yep. Well, I mean, maybe Russell Crowe? Not, but now I actually recognize people. What? Russell Crowe? Who? Russell Crowe? Exactly. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> before we get too off track, Yeti, who are you popcorning to? Uh, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Crow. Just because I ended with the word crow doesn't mean you pick me! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Alright, uh, hi everyone, my name is Kitty Makoto, uh... I play Arlos, the Hexblade Warlock. I'm currently trapped in the Silk Room, but I'll let you know I'm going to be the goddamn best employee that I can be. I don't know what they need me to do, but I'm going to do it. The, the Silk Room. They need you to the do the Silk, silk Room. room. The silk. How am I supposed to do the Silk Room? You'll find out room. how. The Silk oh. Room. Okay. <laughs> the Room of Silk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pass if I'm like have fun. God damn it! <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Cosmos Keeper, aka Karen, and I play Caress, Eric Cocker Druid. Doc. Well, because you asked so nicely. Please. Thank you. I didn't actually mean it, but thank you. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> I am Doc. Playing Octod, the barbarian silly kobold, who everybody loves. Yeah. Mordred. Mordred, are you here? I'm Mordred <laughs> Cannon, uh, there playing she is. Alina, the fox eared and tailed variant human rogue mother of a pyrotechnic. I thought you were just, I, I didn't see the, the text right away. I thought you were going to say mother of a fucker. And <laughs> I <laughs> am Sammy. Your god mommy for this campaign, with the exception of last week. Um, and yeah. We'll take a break. D and D stream. Well, I had a bad throat. I could not talk. It's okay to take a break every now and then. Yeah. True. 
I, I really needed it. I was really appreciated. But since I have my voice back, Steam, win! Would any of you like to unpause those redeems? Those redeems? Uh, no. Oh, no. No, like the Sing singing ones. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, God, no. 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 <laughs> oh, don't worry. This isn't a serious session. Speaking of, what happened yeah, in the last session? You want me to remember weeks. two weeks ago? Yes. Yeah, come go. on. The, the chicken gets distracted by a line on the ground. Mikey, go. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we. I know we ended up in this uh, dye fabric factory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arlos is in the silk room because yep. he offered to help. It was very suspicious the way the 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 other people were acting. So mm -hmm. we decided to we told Octod to break down the door, and we're here. I, he is very good at that. And that's all I remember. <laughs> uh, Penny laid her eggs. Oh yeah. yeah, that too. That was a that was a thing. That was kind of funny. It was. Uh, Octod o Octod went to full lizard parent, and he was like, "I warmed the eggs." And then they wanted to know what the chicken thought of it, and was like, "Help." Octod has didn't know what to do. He just he didn't know. Octod does not know. Story of his Wait. life. <laughs> Shit, I forgot to. Do God damn it. You forgot to what? What would you, for what did you forget? Eldritch I chicken. left Hold my on. katana with the blacksmith and expect Mara to come back with him and wring my neck. <laughs> I just realized something. What, what did you me? just realize? I am not signed in as a player on my um. What you call it? On the viewer. I swear to God. Look, look. No, not you. Okay. What? Anyways. No, uh, I, th I, th I think you got another bot DMing me. Ah, damn. Wait, no. This person messaged me like two years ago. Go away. Ew. Brother, it's been two. Yeah. Why do you feel the need to respond to that? I didn't. No, they just messaged me now. They said they messaged me two years ago. I didn't answer them, and they messaged me again here. I don't know who this is. Weird. You just ignore it. <laughs> Apparently, I'm friends with them. What? Oh. So, so anyways, <laughs> does anyone remember right. what happened before uh, Penny laid her eggs? No. God, um... I wish I could. Oh, so you don't remember the fight with the Colas Knight? Um, as oh, yeah. oh, and right. Uragai watched on, seeing the progress, seeing the levels of experience that um, Charles and Zell have. Zell did over 40 damage! Yeah! Those are broken. Zell shredded a man's spine. <laughs> it's true. Rogues do be doing damage. So yeah, uh, after beating the coldest night and being gifted some cool new gloves that I forgot to give you, I just remembered. Yeah, we do. Um, after that, you all went back to the inn where you saw that Penny laid her eggs. Uh, Ray and Mikey both freaked out and not knowing exactly what to do. Um, tried making a nest. Akdad warmed the eggs for a while until Fenthris was slightly able to ca uh, take over. And then, you all came to Cry Color Factory, uh, run by uh, Annie, uh, with her daughters, uh, Nichi and Sanji, as well as her son, uh, whose name I forget, actually. About How could you forget the best character? I forgot his name. I'm so hold on, hold on. Dar, Dar, that's his name. I had to remember the pun. Dar has to be protected. Good lad. Hey, it's Annie's colors. Don't worry about it. Who is ma which are managed by her daughters, Nichi and Sanji. Anyways, I'm going to need you all to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh god. Uh How dareth thee? 
When you say all. Everyone, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. This is well, not a good start. I should have done a pre roll. Hmm. Oh, thank God, Elise. Did it not? Uh, it oh, did not. it didn't. Got. Oh, I'm in a new browser. Shit. I Damn forgot it. about that. <laughs> You forgot oh to God, download God, the extension. I forgot to install it. the fucking app. Beyond 20. I'm on Opera GX now, and I don't know how to do this. Oh, God. Yeah, it, you can it's still get it. No. Uh, the yeah, children do not it. need a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Um, but thankfully, it's pretty easy. But a bit, bit, bit easy. Alright, let's got 15. Hmm. Uh, what did K get? 15. Pretty sure. Okay. Alright. Noting those I for lied. later. I lied. He got a 21. Noting those for later. Um, alright. So now that you all are in, uh, sudden combat, roll for initiative after I clear this off, because we're gonna, just gonna do redo initiative. What? God damn it. Oh, I had a 21! I'm sorry. What? Why but also, I'm not sorry. Uh, this is a I'm waiting morning. for the thing to come up before I roll. Okay, I added the extension. Now I'm gonna reload everything and hope to God. Well, that's much better than what I had on there. Cool, cool. A load of barnacles! They got 13. It's not that bad. I had a 21 wow. before. Alright, cry about it. I am. Good. Enjoy your fucking hot dog that you already ate. God damn it. Oh god, no, not 70. Seven. Not 70, it's a 7. Oh, fuck, it is extremely ready. <laughs> On point. Um, 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 I should probably add the others as well that I have hidden. I, I hadn't thought about this campaign <laughs> since the other week. I forgot. I keep forgetting about Charles Barkley. I named him, and I keep forgetting his name is Charles Barkley. I was Barkley. about to say, you're the one who named him. Yeah. The worst. The worst. How did you forget? <laughs> My memory is amazing. Isn't it? Bad. It work. Listen, if it forgets the things that make things more entertaining for me. Fair enough. No, I can't argue that. Fair. <laughs> it, listen, it's if like I could forget, if I could forget my favorite games and experience them for the first time all over again, I would. That'd right. be a oh, superpower. All right, so you're all gonna get a surprise round, except for Arlos, who has no idea what's happening. Um, so Alina, you're first in the surprise round. Where you move before they move, because they're all on the ground and prone. Yeah, um, give them a good old stabbing. <laughs> okay, Marvin the Martian. <laughs> Where is the kaboom? <laughs> We're supposed to be in their shattering kaboom. There's supposed to be a large earth shattering kaboom. No, they are not unconscious. They were just pushed to the floor. They're about oh, to do uh, the dinosaur. All right. I haven't heard that song in a while. I, I forgot to do the it thing. All the time. You forgot to oh, open it's... the door and get on the floor? No. Sam, your model has cheese on its face. God damn it. <laughs> cheesed. I, I done cheesed myself. Well, it's all right. That's up to we you. We all get a little cheesy now and then. That's up to you whether you want to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, cheese, annihilate them or not. Okay. 
that should be fixed now. All right, guys, Hans is here to participate. Hans! You have anything to say? Opinions no. killer, no. Honestly, we don't really... I, I personally think it could go either way. Because just because Arlos is in a sticky situation does not necessarily mean he's going to die. So, are they technically bad people? I don't know. Sure. I feel like they were. Didn't, didn't they, like, eat and kill people or something? No, just people have gone missing. Yeah, people have gone missing. We don't, we don't know if they're dead or not. They could be. Mm -hmm. I mean, Zell did sound worried as fuck. Yeah. Plus, this is Annie's color factory. Fuck him, kill it. Which is run by Nietzsche and Sanji. I said that. I feel like there's a reference there somewhere, but the only thing I can think of is One Piece because there's two characters named Nietzsche and Sanji. No, it's not One Piece reference. Is I know it it's not because it doesn't. Is it a VTuber Studio reference that it, I refuse to it, say in the stream? It might be a VTuber oh. Studio reference that you're refusing to say in the stream. <laughs> All right, we should kill them. <laughs> if, if that helps you uh, make a decision, yeah, I figured that one out. I forgot. Yeah, kill them. <laughs> also, their last names are Cry. So we got Annie Cry, Michi Cry, and Sanji Cry, as well as Dark Cry. Well, that's a different character entirely. Weapons free, my boys. He got legs. He do got legs. Oh man. We just got the weapons for your approval. Let's go. <laughs> you attack Annie. All right. Annie was not going to be okay after this. Annie's definitely not been okay in years. <sighs> no, she hasn't. Which I felt. That is a hit. Um, Ooh. Go ahead and roll for damage. And she is prone. Actually, roll, with it. roll a second attack. Because that is with what? advantage, because she is prone. They are all prone currently. Well, it's at 32 kills, in which case it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, you drag your scythe along the ground. And you have this odd feeling that you should really just do everything to stop them and you just stick your scythe right into the ground through annie and she stops moving her daughters nichi and sanji both look at you in terror is that your turn all right octad you're up well I'm right next to Nietzsche, and so I might as well just uh, do my thing. I'm not going to get angry. There's no need to. Yeah. Let me roll again to see that, if I get a crit. That, oh, is a hit, though. that is a hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Damage. Big damage. Yeah. Do it kill. Uh... It hold on, let me get an actual sheet. It <laughs> do a kill. Oh, okay. Nietzsche is also down, so you just bring your axe down as she's distracted looking at her mother who has been stabbed to death, and you just bisect her. With her and loud I... crunch into the wooden floor beneath as Sanji well... turns around to look at your axe coming down at her. Yeah, but no crit. That is uh double checking. That is a hit. Uh hit me oh yeah, bye. That is a damage. That is certainly a damage. That it's more than the last damage, so it is more than the last damage. Alright. So you took care of any Nichi and Sanji. You took care of Nichi, Sanji, and Angie. Five, three, so, four, 
Uh, so. All right, I'm gonna start move. Yeah, moving down the hallway. Yep. Zell, you're up. Well, do you tentat tentatively want to pause the combat since all the ones that were here are dead? Um. Yeah, yeah. We'll tentatively pause the combat, and we'll come back to Zell when combat is reinitiated, if it is reinitiated, after all. Um. So yeah, but for now, we are going to zoom down a little bit and ask Arlos, what are you doing right now in the Silk Room? The Silk Room has been a subject of many conversation. Right, and by that, so... I mean, like one. So I know that these are spider webs, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to cast Blur upon myself. All right, you cast Blur on yourself, which lasts about a minute. And I'm going to use this to represent it. All right. Down this way. Let me light up the room for you. It's not, that's not what I want. Fog of War, reveal area. And in the room, you see this large space with two small spiders kind of at the far back wall. Did they happen to notice me? Um... Yes. I have they, spider knowledge. They would no have noticed you um, casting the spell, and so they are weary of something in that direction. Fuck. So, they are going to roll for initiative. You stepped in their webs, you fool. <clears throat> yeah, I probably shouldn't. Arlos, don't that. forget to look up. <laughs> Would you like to look up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, might as well. Okay, one moment. Let me add their initiatives. Huh? 11 and 8. But the spiders. What do you mean, hi? <laughs> I thought there was like four more coming up. Don't be scared. No, it's just these two. Oh, and okay. until yeah. until you look up. That's what I was referring to. And you see this one. Oh. <laughs> Here we go again. It's right. the pack leader. And we will go back to Zell's initiative. So when they enter combat, you'll also <laughs> enter combat. And that's how we'll do it. Guys, why I not I it. music? I was gonna say, I just realized, did my number not appear on the initiative? Um... It did, it did not. not. What number did you get? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, I'll scroll up for you. I'm, I'm looking through it. Oh, it, did, it just didn't pop up. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll your initiative. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I think it... Uga is starting to affect your, you. Yeah. <laughs> Uruguay has affected your actual capacity. It honestly might have. <laughs> Too much of the tea. <laughs> the tea. So I said the the T. Uh, Want to use the feline agility thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no combat right now. Like you all can just go forward. Oh, I thought you said yeah. some part. No, no, no. No, uh, when combat reactivates, then we will go with Arlos's uh, three spider problem. Yeah, well, it's kind of a hallway, so. little bit. Luckily, Zell knows where he's going. Wait. I don't know why, but today in particular, I really want to pet Zell. No. Please be gentle. Octod is strong. Octod is very Little strong. Little strength. <laughs> Octod is good with kids, though. Is he? He has been so far. Joy, what do you think? Octod's good. Uh, I see. Okay. I guess. 
Uh, before he goes here, Zell's going to warn everyone of the number of goblins that he's seen here. Mm-hmm. So, what, how would you all like to go about this? I would want to slaughter the gobbledygooks. It's gonna look rather suspicious if you just walk into the room. <laughs> <I'm just blazing. laughs> well, Zell is leading, so Zell has the has the call here in my in Octod's mind. You're setting him uh, up to be a leader in the future. Interesting. Well, he's currently in front, so he's also a small, and you're also a small, so you could just like walk past each other. <laughs> Zell gonna climb on the walls. All right, Zell climbs up onto the walls and is about ten-ish feet off the ground. Uh, does he climb onto yourself. the wall or the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling. I'm sorry. Okay, no, I'm just double checking. Uh, so yeah, he's on the ceiling, about ten feet up off the ground, kind of prone to the ceiling, but you know, fairly well hidden for where he is, especially since people don't tend to look up. Arlos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so if I go this way, will I be able to like cling to the other side of the wall? Yes. Uh, the wall here does go up another 30 feet. So it, if you were stealthy, you could just crawl your way uh, from the ceiling of the hallway into the room's wall and then up. Yeah, that's what we're about. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Alright, buddy. We're good at this. We got this. There's no way we don't got this, right? We Rolls have plus a one. seven. Please don't say that. <laughs> you say guns blazing, but this is bullshit blazing. Um, okay, eleven. Uh, let me check certain things. Passive perceptions. Doop-a-doop-a-doo. Your perception is... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh oh Mm-hmm. Uh, let me check other things. Perceptions. Um, it's shit. Okay. So, Zell's pretty well hidden from all the goblins in the room. Yay! And the hag in the middle is just, like, staring away at her cauldron. Just cackling normally, like she would. <laughs> oh, this brew is going to be mighty fabulous, but I, I could use a little more ingredients. Maybe a slippery little furball. As she turns to look up at Zell, casting oh. vicious mockery. Oh! Yep. I'm going to need Zell to make a... Doop -a -doop -a -doo. What is the saving throw for this? A wisdom saving throw. Also, Doc, if you can roll me your 2d20s. Oof. Oh, yes, yes. All right, so... A two out of 17. That's the wrong spell. What? Uh, 217. Okay, what are you taking? I will take the 17. I will take the 2. You would. You gave me the 2. <laughs> she has no choice. <laughs> Alright, Zell is going to take... 4 psychic damage, and will have a disadvantage on his next attack roll. Before that. Aww. Yep. As... He has been spotted by the hag and pointed out. Uh -oh. All right, everyone, get the intruder. So initiative Look. will begin, and I will add all these characters to the initiative. So add. Alina was right. We should have went gun bl guns blazing. <laughs> Probably. That yep. seems to work out for us most of the time. It does. Which is weird. Alright, 
And now let me just roll initiative for all these guys. It's gonna take a minute. Four. So if any of you would like to like shout out anything that you're gonna be doing soon or that you're working on, please feel free. Working on another draft video for Gen 1 Pokemon. Hey, yo, let's go. That, uh, you guys saw one of the things, because I wanted to show off my editing, and goddamn, that took way nice. too much time. Yeah. It, it, they usually do take up too much time. Well, it didn't help that I didn't know what I was doing, and unfortunately, I can't zoom in on what I need to, so I had to render out the segment, then put it back in, and then zoom in. Uh, it was painful. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it. I mean, it looked decent. Not exactly what I wanted, but it looked fine. Anyone else? Um, Mikey does art. Does nice I, art. Yeah, I do. I, I guess. What do you mean? You guess? <laughs> what the fuck? If the art is conundrum, your art, no matter how good your art looks, you will never feel that that it looks as good as other people think. Yep. Felt that. Uh, these are some big numbers to him. Yeah, there are some big numbers there. I can't see the numbers, but I choose to believe they're there. Uh, they're in the initiative oh, they're... order. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't looking at that. Um, I'm trying to, look, I'm trying to do stuff. I mean, me and Sam are working on a project still. Yeah. We gotta get back to that. Mor Morgan's getting impatient. She she wants to be part of it. I'm sorry. All right, all right. So, initiative has been rolled. Zell, you're up. Uh, well, I guess the time is any day to at least try something. So we're gonna try and dive on this guy here. All the... right. Uh, you are about 15 feet off the ground. So in order to not take damage, I'm going to need an acrobatics check. Uh... Yeah! Where was All that right. where I need to sneak? What the fuck? <laughs> right? All right. You successfully pounce onto this goblin right here. And you're free to dig in your two daggers or whatever you plan to do. It's the idea. We got one here. All right, that is going to... Um, that is damage. I need an attack. Whoop. Yeah. That is going to hit. Uh, this is gonna sound weird, but this theme sounds suspiciously like the, uh, Scrapyard theme from, uh, Robots. Oh my god. I love Robots. <laughs> well, robots? Robots. With that old Not animated movie? Peoples? Yeah, with Robin Williams. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. I'm crazy. I'm as crazy that... as my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as crazy I as my mother. Movie. I saw that movie in theaters. And fair. Maybe I can find a better song. Sam, I can help you find music if you need. Not that one. Aha. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Now I just have Fender yelling Aunt Fanny stuck in my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Sam, if you need help finding music in the future, just let me know and I can try to help you. I have a lot of songs, I just haven't- What the fuck? I know this song. What? I mean, if you go to YouTube and type in royalty-free adventure music, you'll find a lot of things. Oh. There we go. 
There's something fitting enough. Alright, yes, that is a hit, and yes, that is a kill on that guy. Nice. Uh, one second, Zell. I need that spot. Eh. Okay. You're free to continue your turn slash movement if you want. Hmm. Also, since you're standing right there, you do get to see this. Enter to another hallway. Much, I don't know how much movement I have considering I was crawling on the ceiling. It, it would have just been from the start of when you got uh, spotted. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I will go here. All right. And that guy is a little distracted at the moment. Yes. And that will be my turn. Okay. Now we go over to Arlos, who is over in the silk room. Saying hello to some friendly spiders. Oh boy. There's one uh, of them named Charlotte. Um I'm for the web. God, what was that one creepy spider dude from an old like children's show? Or maybe it was from James the Giant Peach. Honestly, it could be both. All I can think of are the giant spiders from Harry Potter, so I now. have no fucking clue. There, there was one like animated one, like 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 kind of bad CGI. It was like all white, um, with like black. What was oh. supposed to be hair? Oh, um, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Arlos, mm -hmm. that's yes. still damage. No, that's the elemental thing. Oh! Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Bring out which element you're using. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else am I thinking of? Uh, well, I'm forgetting something, I know it. Uh, I don't know. No, no, it's your turn. Like, you're free to do as you wish. Okay, I'm gonna pop me. I'm gonna use my bonus action to pop me Bonkai. Yeah. We will go. Oh, wait, maybe I'm. So when I walk up to this guy here, I look him dead in his eight eyes. Calls him a bitch. Yeah. And then I swing at him. Alright. You swing at the bitch. Oh. That is unfortunately a miss. A critical one. Yep. Luckily, this is your packed weapon, so you do have a second hit. And yes, it is a crit miss, but there's no allies around or anything to, like, dissuade the, uh, like, a negative that would happen. Alright. You hit this creature. And also, for, for the people at home, what damage type did you roll? I rolled poison. Nice. I like poison. Yeah. I feel bad for the spiders. <laughs> They're here just doing their job. That's all they all always ever do. They just vibe. Uh, and your Bankai, which element did you add? Uh, lightning. All right. Now go ahead and roll the one d four light or one d six lightning. Yeah. I don't know if I updated um, that on your sheet, but yeah, go ahead. That and reminds me, I want to check something. Yeah. You also didn't give me the the poison damage. Damn it. I mean, the, is it acid? Uh, poison. No, no, uh, yeah, no, it was poison. I think. 
You hear all the massive damage? Look, look. Uh, I, I, I need to remember later. Anyways, okay. you, you bisect this thing. You slice through un, through its underbelly, and come back around, positioning yourself to face the other spider and Charlotte. I wonder if spider would be any good. I guess what we need to do in a silk is to be an exterminator. I'm not sure that just that. That'll be his turn. Alright. That's Arlos's turn. Next up is gonna be Joy. What is the fire fiend gonna do? Sorry, it's a little cold where I am. Cold that. Yeah. She's in the room. Surrounded by many much gavos. Time to shoot the hoe. Firebolt! You firing at the hag? <laughs> also, who's teaching her all these swear words? It's not me. Alright. Go ahead and shoot the hag, Joy. <clears throat> A 13. That is unfortunately going to miss. Oh, what? Uh, who? Um, um, um. Crow, thank you for the resub. Oh, that makes sense. Also, I gotta open up my phone to see chat. I've been forgetting. That's what I've been forgetting. Oh my god. So yeah, that is unfortunately going to miss. Is that your turn? Also, Mikey, thank you for nodding in my ear. Which, now that I've noticed that, I didn't hear it, but... Now I know to set that up again. Yeah. Ah, uh, that is... Bonus action, Misty stuff. Alright. Go ahead and pick where you're missing stepping to. Back in the room, got it. Really? Really, Mikey? What did you do? I I redeemed the swole. <laughs> All right. I'll exercise with you. Yep. Uh, give me a second. I'm losing my voice. Oh God. No. Help. Don't do a me. <laughs> so now it's Charlotte's turn. Charlotte is going to climb down from her perch. Uh, just double checking. Cool. Climb down from her perch and move approximately 20 feet towards you. And then take a dash action to step up to you. That is her turn. Next up, this other spider's turn is gonna do basically the same thing. And that'll be its turn. Okay, you are up. Oh God, is it finally bird's turn? It, it is finally bird's turn. Forward. And I do my swole stamp starter set. Damn, I can't move very far. <laughs> Sorry, Joy. Skill issue. <laughs> it, it, 
Sam? <laughs> I have a lot of points. Sam? I can redeem that a multitude of times. Yeah. I too have a lot of points. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, this is an open doorway, right? Yes. Okay. I can see the hat, right? From where I'm standing, yes, assuming. Yes, you can. Cool. How far away? God damn it all. I can't do jack shit. Well... I can do one thing. We believe! Maybe. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put the bear totem here. Alright, go ahead and draw it. Uh, it's the brush tool. It's right there. I meant to change the color, but it's there. Can we talk about how big this fucking cauldron is? It's a hag. It's what they do. It do be is what they the do. the black cauldron? <laughs> it is not the black cauldron. God damn it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to kill the horned king for it. Instead, She's over here doing laps to stir the pot. It is this <laughs> goblin's turn. Who is going to... Hold on. Um... It's going to run up. Stare at Joy. Or stare at Kay. And close the door. <gasps> you feel Wow. <laughs> Next up, this goblin is going to run up here and ready its bow. Charles, you're up. Hey. Oh boy. Hey, flame girl. Um. <laughs> Charles legitimately can't do anything. Unless Kay and Charles share a tile. Charles, he's a small. He can't do that. Well, Charles and Kay are gonna share a tile. Somebody just remind me that Kay's under Charles. Usually and... be the other way around, but you know. Because you're the bigger. Um, true. Um, hmm. Okay. Is he close enough to kick the door open? Yes, actually. Go ahead and roll that flash check. He's gonna do his damnedest to kick that door open. Alright. He kicks the door open. And this goblin is pushed back and prone on the floor. <laughs> Which I'm gonna represent with this. <laughs> that's blue. <good. laughs> all right. Anything else you'd like to do? Nope. That's all he can do. All right. Uruguay, you're up. Alrighty, um... Is this a door, by the way? Which one? No, that's a wall. That is a wall? Yeah, I thought you tried to uh, make it a door. I, I know I could, but would I know that's not a solid wall behind it? Like, would I know that's not, like, a solid thing behind no, it? No, you've only seen this side of the wall. You gotcha, you gotcha. That'd be a bold assumption to assume a wall is simply a single panel. Hmm. I'm going to 
use my bonus action to uh, let me pull it up real quick again. Step with the wind. Yep. Go ahead and use your key point. Yep. I can now move 80 feet instead of 40. Hey. All right. That's all I want to do. A little far from that. <laughs> um. All right, he is prone, so you do get advantage. All right, I will use, uh, as per usual, I will use a uh, do draconic strike. Yep. Oh, I'm so happy I get advantage. Yep, you do get advantage. You also get five extra health. And five temporary hit points. Yep. All the way back to Joy gets five temp extra health. Alright, does 17 hit? 17 does in fact hit. Nice. Go ahead and roll damage. Roll my gojo! <laughs> Give him the schmix up. <laughs> that is enough. So that's 16? Yeah. You, you, not one punch, man. You go Damn. up to this guy, smash him into the ground, and the it was fire, ground... by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And in a blaze of fire, once it clears up, you see that he is kind of slightly embedded into the wooden floor, <laughs> and not moving. I just snap my head towards this one here. Oh, oh I'm gonna... <laughs> give him the eye. <laughs> you still have thirty feet of movement. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And I still have my second attack. Yep. I attack this one here. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. As you sprint to this guy quickly after defeating oh his friend. Oh my god. And you punch the <laughs> barrel next to him. That's gonna be you in a second. That's gonna be you. <laughs> Do I roll damage on the barrel? That's a, that, that's the honest question. Sure, roll damage on the barrel. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. You roll to damage the barrel and the barrel <laughs> is no this, longer. This one, was, this one was lightning. Oh, it's lightning? Yeah. So you watch as lightning crackles along a lot of white powdery substance that just flows to the ground. Oh, yeah. What are you feeling if I'd used fire? That would have ended really badly. Hold on one second. I gotta Google something. Isn't lightning just sharp fire? Uh... Wow. Sharp fire? Oh dear god! <laughs> that could have been terrible. That could have had so, an explosive so, result. Okay, I was about to say out of out of game, uh if I had used fire uh for a chance, what could have possibly happened? Oh, you would have created a dust bomb. Oh. Do do I get Intimidation on the goblin in front of me or no? Ah, uh, sure. Go ahead and roll intimidation. Okay. For those of you at home, it's flower. <laughs> it's a flower bomb. I, I take it this doesn't work. <laughs> Not really. Gotcha. You stare at him. He's like, eh, I've seen worse. Speaking of worse, it's the hag's turn. <laughs> She's going to turn to Uragai. And be like, oh, a new victim. Very well, let's take care of this one. Really quick. Speak up, I can't hear you, sonny. <laughs> I said, fuck you, bitch. 
Uh, she is going to... Um... Use her action. And... Where did she go? You have no idea. Oh, bravo. Don't tell me she jumped into the pot. <laughs> no, no, you would have seen that. It's Baba Yaga. She just disappeared. God, if it was Baba Yaga, we'd be screwed. <laughs> Pretty much. That's a, that's a terrace level threat. <laughs> All right. It's the goblin's turn. Um, Which one is that? Ah, it's this one down here. He is going to climb up onto the platform, take a look at um, at Uruguay. He's gonna fire from his short bow. Yeah, does a seventeen hit you, Uruguay? Uh, yes, and I want to use the deflect missile. All right, so you get to lower this damage. Go ahead and roll your deflecting mi deflect missile. Isn't there one where he can, like, throw it back? Yeah, if he reduces There's it to zero. Missile. If he reduces it to zero, he can spend a key point to throw it back. Ooh. All right, you reduce this damage to roughly zero. I will spend a key point. Okay, you spend a key point to throw it back. <laughs> Go ahead and roll an attack roll with your... Uh, martial arts. So just rest roll as unarmed, or yeah, it's just an unarmed attack. All right. Well, martial arts, baby. Counts as a monk weapon. Oh, I, I rolled the wrong one, but that that was the damage roll. Oh yeah, roll an attack roll. See if you hit. And you indeed I'm... hit this poor poor goblin, <laughs> dealing twelve damage, as. He, he just falls back onto his back. is not really poor goblin when they started it. <laughs> you instigated. So now the goblin hmm. probably has seen me, has literally watched me kill two of the people he was been working with. Yep. All right, Alina, you are up. Technically, I was just doing surveillance. Then I got spotted. Also, Alola Ninetales in chat. So you I swear. I swear. Don't have any Pokeballs. Skill issue. Fuck you. You <laughs> would. <laughs> Doc, please get, please get Pokeballs, brother. Please. I don't know how. Also, you're on more than not Alina. But yeah, you can squeeze past everyone real quick, nice and easy. So long as no one decides to block your path on purpose. <laughs> Elena now has five temporary health. <laughs> Alina, you now have five temporary hit points. Until they get taken away. Yep. No! Damn, Crow Yay! got fucked by a Pokemon community game. <laughs> no, I didn't get it. You got year. it, Mikey. God damn it! <laughs> That's Crow, literally my Crow, Pokemon you might mean. I know, man. We've... We don't deserve this. I play a little Nine Tails and no one unite. I deserve <laughs> this. <laughs> I repeat, skill issue. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know how to buy Pokeballs. You scroll down into the description, so you so you can get into like the the extension, and then you click on the shop, and you should have Pokebucks. Or Poke Benjis. I still have the original Nine Tails, so it matters, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> um. 
depends. Like, you can shoot each arrow at a different direction, but your main attack only has two. Oh, whoops. Ignore that, I'm a fool. I fucking clicked it. What the hell? What did you put in chat? Uh, it's what? just a link to all the commands for the Pokebot. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, misunderstood, I misunderstood what it was asking me. You spend all of your hit points to attack... How many targets? Three? Five? Uh, hold on. Um, so... You spend 28, so you get 10 extra arrows. So you get 12 total arrows. And if you want, yeah, you can do that. Also, it is all you do not do uh, up to yet. I just keep forgetting to change that. So yeah, you get 12 arrows. Pick your targets. So you just watch as Alina pulls out her katana, pulls back on the invisible string, and just in a 360, or you pull out the scythe, you pull back on it, do a 360 and fire, shooting every goblin? Every goblin in the room? Okay, you hit, you go to hit, yeah, you hit every goblin in the room. Um... Pick how many arrows go to each. You have 12 total arrows. And there are 5 goblins. That you can see. Oh, yeah, there are 5 goblins. Also, I just realized, is that a dog? Where? Where? At the bottom. Well, oh, the one that's been bisected? I'm pretty sure that's a deer. Aww. That's a deer. Okay. I've been happy just to be made immediately sad. I mean, you already got a dog in your party. That is... That is someone's that, child. That is so rude. <laughs> Uh, he's not a dog. It's it's me because oh, I got I'm that sorry. dog in me. He's a dire wolf. Thank you. You're welcome. He's a big <laughs> doggle. Okay, so you shoot fun. two uh two arrows at each goblin, and then you send the last two at this poor goblin on the platform. Go ahead and roll two d six plus your dexterity. That's just how we're going to represent damage to all of them. <clears throat> and if you want, you can roll two more d6 plus dexterity. All right. Guess what? Alina comes in. Spiral shoots everyone, and they just are erased, turned into uh, radiant energy that floats away into the ceiling, as far as you can see, before she goes unconscious. Next up, Akdad, you're up. Me. <laughs> and yes, you, well are, you are still an initiative. Let me... I don't really think there's much I can do here, honestly. In the position that I'm in. Uh...
Yeah, I mean, I can enter the room. <clears throat> yeah. That's, I'll, I'll go here. That's, a, that's about all I can do right now. All right, you enter the room. Zell, you're up. Oh, boy. Uh, this guy's not paying attention, right? So we want to try and sneak up on him. All right, go ahead and roll a stealth check. All right, I know we failed the last one, though, but this is it. This is our moment to shine. Two. Yeah! Don't you dare. Okay. Ooh. You feel like you're sneaky enough to sneak up to him? So we're going to go with the wombo combo of stabbing him in, like, his calves to, like, cut his tendon. Mm -hmm. And then, like, stab him in the neck. Well, like, the neck and stuff. Here we go. Go for this. All right. <laughs> yeah! You roll with advantage, by the way. Oh, with advantage. Cool. I'll just take the 23. Yeah, you take the 23. Go ahead and roll your attack. Or your damage. Your, not your attack, your damage. Alright. Zell goes in, takes his Venom Dagger, puts it in a reverse grip, slices down on his Achilles tendons, uh, making him fall to his knees. Uh, then he takes the dagger, puts it up against the goblin's neck, and just streaks it across, causing him to flop over and spill blood into the pool of water that he was guarding. Yeah. Oh, dad moment. How, how could you be? You're not there. Ooh. I'm no cat don't <clears throat> like water, but we want to move into the water and see what's going on. Alright, you step into the bloody water. Uh -huh. You see some nice glowing little butterfly looking creatures. I roll to see what they would be, or what anything in here would be. Roll a nature check. Is it a negative one? These are definitely fake creatures. You're not entirely familiar with what they are exactly, but you know the name will come to you in in a bit. Alright, we'll leave it at that then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up is uh, Arlos. Well, you got you know, usually I... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. You got two spiders in front of you. And you and your Bankai, because you did mention that, but you forgot to transform. I did. <laughs> you know, usually I, I freeze spiders and not necessarily smush them, but these are kind of big. Mm hmm. So, we're, we're gonna. They have a maze. Chop you could smush them. But I have a giant great sword. Speaking of, I have to. Hit it with the, hit it with the flat side. <laughs> hit it with the flat side. Okay, we're going with the same damage again. Okay. Pulls out an extra large attendees tab. Swing. I want to hit this one. That is a hit. Yay. Go ahead and roll your damage. <sighs> We're rolling. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You take the broad side of your sword, smack down onto the spider, and watch as it just splats. Like there was nothing there. It do be squished. Profusely. And then we go again on this one here. It was poisoned to death. That is what killed it. Most <laughs> irony. That is a that is a hit. You watch as this spider wets itself with web. Oh, it webs that itself. Poor thing. It, it it webbed itself. It webbed itself. That's unfortunate. 
<laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if spiders can feel fear, but you instilled it to be sure. Yep, you certainly did. World's best exterminator. Let's go. Is that your turn? Nah, we're gonna. I want to see what's in here. All right. Oh, at least peer in here, I guess. You mm. look into that room, and you see a room. Spiders. God damn it. Uh. <coughs> Do you step in? I will. But I'm gonna look up by stepping. Okay. You look up as you step in. And as you do, you see nothing. Oh, thank God. Nothing above you. <laughs> you know, oh, wait, oh, wow. with one exception, <laughs> with one exception of oh, the thing next to you. Oh. Fucking jump scares. <laughs> <laughs> don't you with the spiders. I don't. You're just gonna hate me. <laughs> Look. I made this, I put this room together and then Arlo's volunteered. I was like, okay, the silk room it is. <laughs> All right. You gotta be able to work from the inside to get the big criminals, man. Joy, you're up. What are you gonna do, Joy? <clears throat> Joy, you watch as your mom does something cool and then passes out. And you walk, run up to her as you grab her, slightly worried, actually very worried, even though you've seen this many times before. Uh, yes, you can, in fact, use Cure Wounds. That is a spell you do have access to. All right, you heal your mom five hit points. As you just hug her arm and she just comes to before rubbing the side of your face and picking herself up. All right, next up is the spider's turn. <laughs> hey, Arlos. Hey. Remember the spider you saw last round? Or last turn? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's its turn now. So it's, uh, it's gonna go ahead and attempt to, you know, attack you with maybe its web. Hey, let's not say we did, yeah. And just watch the other one web itself. I mean, we could. I don't know what you got in there. It didn't watch that, it's in its own room. Uh, by the way, does a 24 hit you? Uh, yes, but I have Blur. Uh, what does Blur do exactly? I will post it. Please do. Oh. Alright. Uh, you see, for the duration, any creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against you. The attacker is immune to this effect if he doesn't rely on sight. Okay. Does a do -do -do -do, 21 hit, 22 hit you. God damn it. Yeah. All right. You are current, uh, roll me a, actually, no, you are restrained by webbing. Well, this is going to be awkward. Yep. And that is its turn. K, you are under your son. Remember that. Thank you. Yep. Ignore that. No one moved. No one I moved. I did move the one one tile. I moved. <laughs> okay, you moved one tile, a whole five feet. <laughs> I moved a whole five fucking feet. Damn. What a guy. 
Uh, we're still technically in combat, right? Yep. Up here. I can move 20 more feet if I want to. Even though as far as you can tell, there is no more people to combat. You just have no idea where that hag went. Well, I'm gonna move up here. All right, you uh, flap your okay. wings. And you check out the cauldron. Yeah. Can I investigate this and see if... Like, I don't want to touch it. Sure. Lord knows. Go ahead and roll that... me an arcana check to see if you can make out what it is. Okay, don't fail. Oh, well, never mind. I don't know shit. <laughs> Clearly. It's, um... Chicken soup. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's your favorite. Yeah. Chicken soup. <laughs> also, poor Lickathon, nobody cared. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say. Anything else you want to do on your turn? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Charles, you're up. Oh, God. Your mom found... Or your dad found chicken soup. Sorry. <laughs> mom, dad. Dad, mom. It's fine. Your bird dad found chicken soup. Uh, Charles wants to go this way. Okay. Yum. Yum. You know you could do the same thing by dragging and moving, right? I I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Add one to the counter. <laughs> Don't you be sassy, Sam. That's my whole <laughs> shtick. Bet. Yeah. Oh, that's it for geez. Charles. All right, that's it for Charles. Third guy. You're up. Um. Hmm. I will move here. All right. Um. One moment. Uh, from right here. You get attacked from an attack of opportunity. Alright. As. Does an 18 hit you? No. No. Okay. Well. Alright, so instead of moving all the way there, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, can I reach right here, by the way? Uh. No. No? Okay. Uh, what is this behind me? Uh, that is a cage. It's a cage, alright. Or like a crate. A was I crate. able to tell... Oh, did she appear after? She appeared as she was attacking. Oh. Like she reached me. out, slashed at your shell, which just like... Tinked off. <laughs> just tinked off, turns on. You have chosen death then. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> You've chosen death. Alright, I'm gonna roll Draconic Strike. Yep, go ahead and roll, <laughs> roll your Draconic Strike. <laughs> but did, what no. I mean? <laughs> did you know it is opposite day? Yes, I did. And that is plus the three, that makes it 11. Yep. Well, why are you assuming that you hit? You do hit, but like, you know. I, I, I was under the impression that the mage wouldn't have higher, uh... Well, I don't know what class she is. She's the hag. Yeah, I was, I was under the impression they wouldn't have higher AC than 24. <laughs> uh, hags are pretty tough. Hags, especially if, depending on the kind. Hags do be pretty tough. Yeah. I'm assuming this is a <laughs> green hag, but I'm not sure. You can roll a nature check. Well, it's not my turn. True. I'll roll a... Second draconic strike of fire. A fire, okay. Yeah. In base D and D, there's three types of hags, and I'm blanking on one of them. That is a hit. All right. Getting tired. No, Getting not tired. Your tires. What? I'm talking to the haunts. No, don't let the haunts be tired. 
Then go Mimi's. You can eat Mimi's all day. I mean, That's what he does. My, my dog goes to sleep wherever she goes to sleep. She's like, she's dead asleep on the floor right now. Nice. So that's another 11 damage of fire. Yep. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yes, actually. I will swing again. Mm-hmm. That is a miss, unfortunately. Gotcha. Is that going to be your turn? Yes. All right. Now it's the hag's turn. Guess what she's going to do? She's going to go. Now how am I supposed to nature check if she goes and disappears again? Uh, Just because you can't actively see her doesn't mean you can't like, go off of what you know already. I guess that's fair. At least Octal got a view of it. Yeah. And Alina, you're up. <laughs> you were brought up by your daughter. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! I can't. That, sounded, that was more Mario. Yippee! God, the new Mario voices sound so weird now after being with the old ones for so long. Did my mic not pick that up? It did. It did. Oh, it okay, gotcha, gotcha. I just didn't have anything to comment on it. Hey, uh. Alina. Does a 24 hit you? Oh, I'm sorry. Does a 25 hit you? Oh, wait, what? All right. You're going to take a claw attack from this bitch taking 13 damage. She's teleporting around the room. No, she's not. She's not teleporting. <laughs> J just go back to sleep, Alina. It's yes, but it doesn't go past double your maximum hit points. In the negatives, anyways. So, that'll be her turn, or that'll be your turn. Octod! Hey, look, there's the hack again. Do you want to do a nature check? Uh, well, she's seeing it, she's right there. I want to go up and hit her. Oh, okay. I, I rolled a hit. 24. You bitch! That <laughs> is a hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Ooh, a full That's... 12 damage. I hit her again. Yep. Uh, same exact roll, so I know that hits. Ah, uh, that's a miss, unfortunately. Uh, that's a hit. Oh, you see she actually cast shield? <laughs> I'm sorry? You see she actually cast shield? <laughs> she Plus actually cast shield, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, every time I I rage these these days, it just goes to waste. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So I'm not gonna even bother raging. Uh, do I have any other bonus actions I can do? Um, you know what? I will. Uh, I'm gonna use a, my. Bardic inspiration and give it to Joy. Yay! What a joy that'll be. <laughs> joy, did you know hags are incredibly flammable? Really? <laughs> you should try it out. 
I will. And that, is, and that is how I give her my bardic inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> what a pep talk. <laughs> they gotta know the right words to say. Uh, I think the ones you're talking about are Green Hag, Sea Hag, and um, Dusk Hag. Is that the, yep. That's the one I was forgetting. Yeah. Uh, I can't, because then it would t provoke attack of opportunity. It's okay, I'll ta I tank these. Yeah. Uh, so my turn's done. My turn's done. All right, Zell, you're up. You come to realize that um, these things in front of you—they're actually known as pixies, little fake creatures. <clears throat> hmm. What could they possibly? Well, since Zell's already in the water, we'll move closer to them. And... Hmm. Can't be guarding these for a reason. Zell will attempt to reach out and grab the pixie. Um, what languages does Zell know? Good question. Why the fuck did uh, uh Abyssal, Celestial, Common, Leonin, Thieves can Okay. Um go ahead and roll an athletics check to grab. Uh the pixie flies out, just flies out of your hand, just barely, and starts kind of yelling at you, but in a language you don't understand. It's you, little. 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 Don't trust <laughs> their magic words. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Okay. What are these? Can I investigate the rock then, or is that just? Uh, sure, you can. Well, what am I rolling for that? Uh, that would be Arcana, because you do recognize there are runes on the rocks, but oh. in order to figure out what they say, Shit. they <laughs> say something. <laughs> Alright, that's that's his turn. Yep. <laughs> Alright, Los. You're up. Hmm. Okay, so since I'm webbed up, what are my options here? Your options are to do nothing, or you can use your action to try and break out. Uh yeah, we're gonna try our option. If you Wait want a minute. to break free. Can I use Misty Step in order to break free of this? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm going to use Misty Step. All right, you Misty Step out of the webs. <coughs> That's literally one of the best uses of Misty Step, by the way. I love it. It's a great right, spell. Boy. And we're going to... Oh, unfortunately, that's the end of your turn. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. What? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, do we just go back in and try to swing? Yeah, fuck it. I mean, it don't mean but... a thing if it ain't got that swing. We go, we go bonk the spider. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. I gotta see what the damage is. I'm sorry. Yeah, go, go ahead and see the damage type as well. You know. Uh, that is fire damage. 
Ooh, fire damage. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do, Joy. You're not immune from your own spells unless you have abilities that say otherwise. Let's fire in the hand. Throw the damn thing! Thank you. You learned this in those picture books that you read. There weren't a lot of pictures, though. Oh, damn. Um, that is... 28 damage of fire burning on the spider. All right, you slash through this spider as well, and um, kind of set some of the webs on fire. Thank it's, God. It's slowly starting to spread across the webs. Oh no! <laughs> From uh, oh thank God to oh no! <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, I like to cheese it, please. Yeah, go ahead and cheese it. You still have movement available. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do I see anything down this hallway? Um, hold on, one moment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's the start of the fire. You do see that this hallway goes on pretty long. Jesus Christ. Pretty uh, damn long. My God. You're not exactly sure how long it goes. These people really gotta clean up these cobwebs. I wanna do some people here. Is that your turn? Yep. Alright. Next up, we'll be going to Joy. And good news. You've been inspired, bardically. You cast Grease! Where are you casting Grease, Joy? Ah, right on the other side of the hag. I see, I see. Also, welcome back, Doc. Thanks, I got a sandwich. You got a me? Oh. All right, you cover that 15 foot square area with uh with uh grease. Or is it a 10 foot square? 10? Okay, it is corner to corner. So that would actually be best shown like this. <coughs> Yeah. All right, the hag will roll her dexterity saving throw. Yeah, the you can uh, toggle it to be corners instead of the center of a square. Uh, what am I looking for in terms of saving, saving throws? That's a welcoming king, Dad. All right, she just saves and stays on her feet. Uh, only if it, only if it says that you can cast it as a bonus action, because Grease does use an action to cast. Yes, it, it costs an action to cast Grease. 
So you use your action to cast Grease. And then anything that's labeled as a bonus action, that's a uh, cantrip, is usable as a bonus action. Otherwise, you aren't able to use a cantrip. Yeah. It'll get better over time. You'll you'll understand it later. But is that all? You'll, you'll understand when you're older. You'll understand when you're older, Joy. Oh, trust me, it can get really fun if you know what you're doing. But is that your turn? All right. Next up, it is K. Ye oh boy. Wait, is Elena down? <laughs> yes. My, I forgot that fucking quickly. <laughs> it happens. I, got, I'm tired. <laughs> Hi, tired. I'm Sam. You said that once today. I know I did. <laughs> Doesn't stop it from being funny. I'm gonna it's cast... not the first time. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Healing Spirit on Alina. Healing Spirit? Yay. Alright, how much does she heal? Seven healings. Alina, you're awake. Oh my god. And trust me, when you actually look into, like, Focusing on uh, spellcasting alone, it'll start coming close. But um, artificers are weird. Alright. Anything else you'd like to do, Kay? I'm gonna move here. And then. Bonus action. Flame blade. This, this bitch. So um, she's still alive. Are you casting Flame Blade? Are you casting Flame Blade I, now, or did you already cast Flame Blade? I'm casting. I'd be casting it now because it'd be my bonus action, not an action. You cannot cast it now because you cannot cast two leveled spells in a turn. Okay. Yep. Like, you'd be able to cast a cantrip and a leveled spell, but not two leveled spells. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. That's it for me, then. Alright. Next up is... Charles! What are you gonna do, Charles? He's gonna go... This way. Ooh. He's going down the hall. He's curious, what can I say? Yeah, a lot of things are new to him. Quite a few things are new to him. <laughs> Including that goblin over there. Oh. It's hard to see on this screen. But yeah, what else do you want to do, Charles? Um, see a guy kind of leaning on the wall, really bored. <laughs> Too bad Charles doesn't know vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> he can still mock, uh, mock people viciously. He's not going to do damage, but he can. <laughs> Like, in the, like, since he's a little kid, it'd be in, like, the little kid way, and it's like, hey! Ugly! <laughs> hey, ugly! I, I swear these goblins have the object permanence of a goldfish. If they're goblins, what did you expect? <laughs> that's it for Charles. Alright, that's it for Charles. Uber guy, You're up! All right, uh, is the hag still alive? <laughs> the hag is still alive. All right, I will move over here. 
I can hit from here, right? Yes. Alright. I will use Draconic Strike Ice. Okay. This game loves me. Doesn't it? That is the third one I've rolled this, this combat. <laughs> Alright, my second attack. You smell like diapers with a hint of failure! <laughs> that is a hit. Finally. Yep. Oh, actually, um, roll a d100. Octad, high or low? Oh. I'm feeling high. I'm feeling high. Okay. Urgai, roll a d100. Okay. You don't hit anyone, Urgai. Uh, right. With the first attack. And you deal 13 dam uh, 16 damage with the second hit. Anything else? Uh, yes, actually. I'm now going to use Flurry of Blows. Ah, Flurry of Bows. Got it. Alright, All right. Uh, so, so you spend a key point to do two more attacks. Yeah. Pop, pop. After the Fury of Bows attack, this hag came way for here. That is a miss, unfortunately. That is a miss, yep. Oh. That is a natural 20. Go ahead and roll critical damage. Yeah, that makes up for the miss. Yeah, it does make up for the net one. Roll it again. Here. That's 19 plus 3. That is 22. How do you want to do this? Uh, have you ever played Mortal Kombat? I, you know, I was thinking the exact same thing, Yeti. Yes, I have. With, with the with the whole my hand comes back out and it's holding the heart. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So you just punch her across the face, get her to turn around so that she's facing forward towards you, and then you just with your other arm punch through her chest and you hold, go out her back holding her heart as you pull your hand out squeezing her heart in front of her as she collapses I, into the, the grease. I, I will hand the heart to Octod. Oh, <laughs> as you hand the heart to Octod watching her collapse. Octod's not really sure what to think of this. He's just kind of staring at it. Octad, you have a hag heart. I mean, technically, you could use that in potions. You could. Alina! Just, hey, we, should, we should shave her head and get some get some of the hairs for potions. <laughs> you... Uh, but you're... It's your turn. You're alive. Again. <laughs> Poor Alina, always knocking herself down. Hey, she does it to herself. I know. Also, the more you look at her, she the more pale she seems to look every time she does it. Like, it's not good for her to be knocking herself unconscious or something. Yeah. She's just slowly getting more and more pale. Alina. Anyways, it's your turn. She may have had other things she had to do. 
She's typing on. Oh, okay, sure, sure. She do be typing. Ah, so she stop and stare. Yep. She try to move, but she goes nowhere. She sits. Take your advantage and leave. Me? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Alina sits up, looks angrily at the now dead hag on the floor, and just picks herself up, dusting herself off. Octav, what are you gonna do? Well, I guess first off, I'll just quickly put that heart in my in my, my space pocket or whatever, so by wherever I'm. Yep. Keeping things. You put it in your prison pocket. Your pocket. <laughs> I'm so mad. I missed a perfectly good joke. I'll ask later. Nah. Okay. Meanwhile, um, corpse. <laughs> I guess I'll survival to try to shave her head for as many hairs as possible for the potions that we need that we could use. Okay. Uh, also, roll me a nature check to see what kind of hag this is. True. I assume it was green, but I didn't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have no fucking clue. Um, it is not a hag. This is actually an ogre. Damn, guys. I can't harvest anything off an ogre. Yeah. They're really All dumb. Right, change my mind. Yeah. You change your mind? You're not going to harvest yeah, anything off the ogre? No. Yeah, it's an ogre. Why would, I, why would I harvest it? I don't know. They're big, they're dumb. They have some regeneration. Yeah, but you don't use anything from an ogre to make a potion. True, true. So I have no reason. Octod has no knowing reason to try. All right, anything else you'd like to do or not do? Uh, uh well, are we still, I guess we're still in combat technically, aren't we? Yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna uh, move, so two, three, four. I'm gonna go this way. Yep. Five. I forgot I had to draw the flower. Just... Let me just reveal this whole corner right here. Now, is it flower still... or is it flower in quotations? It's flower. Because we're still looking for Arlos and Octa doesn't know where he went. Mm-hmm. Six says, and can I still use an action, or does my searching count? No, or my nature check? Right, I'm gonna use well, yeah, I'm gonna use my dash actions. So one, two, three. Joy, okay, here. you recognize this thing as a green hag? <laughs> um, give me one second. Let me check it. Let me see if there's a door there. There okay. is a door there. Okay. I proceed to open the door. Okay, you open the door, and one moment. Um. You see a childlike room in front of you. Oh. With something working in the corner. Is that what I think it is? I guess I'll find out. Yeah. Can I check it? Check it? Yeah, can I do some sort of some sort of a uh, skill check? See what it is? Um roll me in arcana check. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be nature. It's clearly some sort of machine. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a robot kid. Oh. Oh, I'm not really sure what to do here. I don't know, Lizard Dad. You tell me. Uh. Hmm. I guess I'll enter the room. Take a step in. Uh, you watch as its head turns around. Oh, 
Hello. Who are you? Hi. I'm Octod. Who are you? I have not seen you around here. No, I've never been here before. Interesting. I don't see many new people. Ever. How many people do you see? I see the goblins that bring me materials. Huh. They ask me Were to you friends make toys. Were you friends with the goblins? What is a friend? Alright, well... The goblins are dead. What does that entail? Uh, they will no longer ask you to make toys. Oh. But I liked making toys. You can still make toys if you want to. That is good. I would like to continue making toys. Well, okay. Well then, you can continue making toys. Thank you. You're welcome. A another thing. You asked me a name. I do not have one. Oh. I have not been designated a name. That's sad. Everyone should have a name. How about I give you a name? I don't see how that would be helpful. Well, you want a name, don't you? I never asked to get one. I simply but do you want one? let you know that I didn't have one. I don't know. What do you know? I know how to make toys. Uh, do you... Okay, well. Hmm, maybe we can think... We can, we can call you... I know. We can call you Tink, because you tinker and make toys. Tink. I am not sure about this name, but... I will accept it for now. What? That was a great name. I see humor in it, but it does not seem like a fitting name for myself. All right, all right. We'll find something later. Yes. Can I go back to work now? Sure, go ahead. I can't really... Stop you. You're not bothering nobody. You're just making toys. Thank you. If you'd like, you can have that doll over there. A doll over there? A prototype. One of my first creations. Oh. Octod will accept the doll. Alright, you take a doll. I shall add it to my inventory. It is a fabric doll. Designed to look like a little girl. Uh, that's all my movement, so I can't move anywhere else right now. Okay. Next up, Zell. You're interacting with a bunch of pixies. I keep ending up in the weirdest places. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know what languages they speak. So Zell will try in common to ask how they got here. Alright, Zell is out of the um the inn right now, so it is still broken common. But it is getting better. Um, what would you like to say? I like this music. It makes me happy. Um. Hmm. What are you doing? Here, I guess. Feed a cartoon. 
I mean, let's see. Come feel you. So I'll just <laughs> tell us that again. Roll me an insight check. I totally thought you were about to say Mama Say Mama Say Mama Kusa. Mama Kusa. <laughs> you know. I do. And there's a three Mandy. They seem a lot less aggressive against you, having seen you kill the goblin. In fact, some come over and, like, start pushing the blood away towards the goblin. Um, keeping the water clean. Using their magic. As one oh. just kind of addresses you. Trying to understand. Hmm... Oh, they don't seem bad. Uh, Zell will bow to them. They look at you and questioningly, and then they do the same. It's very quick, mm. Pokemon. Hmm. Zell will motion to the water, as if he were going to drink it. They look at you and give a nod. They seem pretty alright. Nice. Zell will take a drink. You drink water that is fresh. That is about it. Um... Zell then motion towards the door? Like, tell them that they're free to go? The fresh blood-soaked water. Nah, they cleaned it. They look at you with mild confusion. And the one just flies closer. They sit on your shoulder then. They kind of just sit there. Uh, so I was confused. Are they just not being held captive? The other uh, ones are circling you and kind of looking you inquisitively. Zell so motion for them to follow as he tries to leave. They continue to circle you as you walk through the door. The rest of you see Zell walk out with a bunch of pretty lights. Putting around his figure and one up on his shoulder. Now, Zell, is that your turn? Yeah. All right, let's go to your dad. I lost you. No, there's more hallway. We'll also take the dash action and just stop looking down the hallway. And fire is spreading. Why is there fire? I think I was away for that part. Arlo slashed at the spider, and then he, but he used fire to kill it. It kind of got on the web, and now it's all burning. Is there was anything you like to do? Uh, besides look up, no. You don't find anything there. Okay, enjoy it! Now turn. your turn! <laughs> what would you like to do now?
Joy, you turn around and you. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, no, you're playing. I, I was just gonna make something up. <laughs> Kay just like pulls out a dagger and is like, I have a dagger. Joy, you see your bird friend pull out a dagger for you. Why are they trusting a child to use a dagger like that? I don't know, but sure, why not? I mean, she's gonna learn eventually. Eventually? Not, you know. You know what? I can't say nothing. So all of those are these daggers. Hey, Joy, what is that you? Ha what is that you have? A knife? No, no. <laughs> Who gave her the knife? Everyone looks at K. <laughs> would it be K or Octod? Because I feel like it'd be either one. No, the first guess would be Octod, but then <laughs> K is like, I got bored, <laughs> or whatever. The day K causes chaos with a just because I was bored, I <laughs> would be so happy. Ha! <laughs> chaos. It, it... He lets hey, his son you... have a giant stick. Hey, we give and us give a, him a sword like, her, and ta her talents weren't coming in. I had to give her something sharp. Roll me a survival <laughs> check. Oh, no. Oh. Joy, you really don't know how to use a knife. This hair is really thick. You don't know what you're doing. Joy, give the dagger back. I'll make an attempt next time. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Okay, you take the dagger back. And I'm gonna say that'll be Joy's turn, just so we can, can finish this initiative. Um... <laughs> Can Charles roll me a stealth check, please? Oh, God. Uh, he can. Will he succeed? Who knows? Oh, my God, he did. <laughs> okay. He's the like, goblin. Oh, you got a question? The goblin was just picking at his teeth with his pinky. Meanwhile, K. Oh, we're just going to skip you. Charles! Sorry, it's just a get out of initiative. <laughs> Charles wants. To... God, I hope this works. Do, do, do. Damn it. It's one square too short. Oh, look at that. Charles made it. <laughs> and he's he wants to bonk him with the stick. All right. He's going to bonk him with the stick. That's a hit. Actually, roll with advantage because he's not paying attention. Grit. That's still a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, that is eight damage to this goblin. So he, he just goes over, whacks this guy on the head, and he just falls over. Oh he my god. Falls slump. I did it. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hey, was <laughs> it? Did you see that? Oh. Kay, Kay's bird dad senses are tingling like, did my son just curse? <laughs> did my son say a swear? The gold for the swear jar. I swear, I don't know where this kid gets it from. Alright. And now you all are officially out of initiative. Let me just... Clear that. Close that. And now, who would like to do something first? Charles is like, he runs back and he's like, Dad, I did it! <laughs> he's like, where, we did what? I, I ran over and I whacked a goblin on the head and now he's dead. With just the biggest smile <laughs> on his face. And Kay Charles just committed puts murder his... at the age of six. He puts his hands to his face and he's like, my son has committed murder. Multiple times. 
Well, yeah, it has been multiple times now. Am I gonna be okay? It, yeah, son. You will be. Meanwhile, Zale's just standing there, Pixie just flying around him. Wait, do Pixies speak... Sylvan? They do, in yeah. fact. I was gonna say, I... that actually, yeah. Because Kay understands Sylvan. Alina, roll survival. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you can try talking to them. God, what do I say? That... <laughs> I'm so bad at this. There's a lot of things you could say. If you only listened. Wait, do pixies not speak common? No, we don't. <laughs> oh no. Is the pixie like chattering, like at Zell or something? They're kind of like speaking amongst themselves. Kay would like to listen. What is this thing? I don't know. But it's friendly, it killed the goblin. But what do we do now? I don't know. Our spring's here, but it's not home. Yeah, but how do we get home? And the one on Zell's shoulder, like, just shrugs, both hands up. Huh? <laughs> At least we hey, got the protector. He just kind of puts a hand to his chin. And is like, hmm. Hmm? Like, he's trying to think, because he's like, how would a pixie get home? Like... Just kind of starts mu muttering out loud, <laughs> and I can imagine Charles and Zell just kind of looking at him like, "What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about?" Oh, the pixies want to get home, and they don't know how. You can talk to them. Yep, they're speaking Sylvan. What's <laughs> Sylvan? What is Sylvan? Is it like an ancient, like, fey language it's or like something? It's like fey or like more natural uh, language. Okay. Like the language of nature. <laughs> not not un like a natural way for people to speak. It, I mean, it is, but it's like, you know what I mean. Yeah, a na nature-based language. A nature-based language, yes. Thank you. Well, it's a nature-based language. Spoken by a lot of fae, and a lot of, and even some monstrosities. Yes. You say yes to the voice in your head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, agreed. Look, Kay, Kay's turning as crazy as Octon was when he had that whole talking to God stint. <laughs> oh, you think that was crazy? I was crazy once. No, we're not doing this again. And they put me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room. Oh, okay. Wait, you were in a rubber room? When? This was it in my notes. <laughs> no, that was a dream. Silver. You just hear the flapping of papers? Uh, <laughs> nope, I don't see it. Where in your history does it say that? And Kay just gets utterly horrified. Like, why am I suddenly hearing voices? Oh, right. I'm not supposed to be in this one. Um, later. <laughs> well. All right. Akdad. Or not Akdad. Arlos. <laughs> what are you doing? No. <laughs> God damn it. Arlos, guess what? Yes. The fire's spreading. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. We hope you are. It already was. 
I have to save my robot friend. All right, let's see. Let's reveal this area. So we just keep going up. Yep. What is this? That's a little bit of slime. You okay. See, you do see something shiny at the end of the hall there. I will go towards the shiny. Okay. You see a lot of shinies at the end of the hall. These fucking acorns? No. I yes. I will investigate the shinies. God damn it. Why are these here? I don't know. I thought it was gold. I thought it was gold a long time ago. <laughs> now that you pointed out, they do look like acorns. It literally is just a pile of acorns. <laughs> Do spiders eat acorns? <laughs> no. So are uh, these no. actually acorns or are these supposed to represent gold? Would you like to make an investigation check? Gold Fuck. acorns. Sure. Roll an investigation check. Alright, come on, buddy. We are smart. We got this. Yeah! Alright, you look at these acorns. It's like, this pile is very suspicious. So you stick your hand into the pile of acorns and you feel something like a sack and i will pull the sack out you pull the sack out and you just hear jingling from like a three pound sack oh like to look in the sack all right you look in the sack and you see a bunch of silver and gold coins Man, um, pancakes forever with this. Cool. Let me roll some numbers real quick. Um, sure. There's 900 We're silver. Almost... Oh, that's a lot. And 701 uh, gold. gold. Oh. Oh, nice. You said 900 silver? 900 silver. Nice. Let's put this with the... And, uh, and 90 huh? platinum. And 90 platinum? Yes. Definitely put this with the... Look, so much money. It's meaningless. No, no I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get on out of here. Okay. Uh, roll me a perception check real quick. Oh, uh, no! It's nothing bad. Yes, it is, because I rolled a 10! You noticed while you were in there, there's this weird hole in the wall? Do you see a light on the other side? You might be able to squeeze through it. Might be able to squeeze through it. You might be. To squeeze through. If you're lucky. I'm gonna try. If not, I'm gonna bash my way through. Roll me a through. acrobatics check. That's okay. We got a plus three in acrobatics. Oh, movie. All right. You stick your hand through. You blink, and you're on the other side of the wall with your hand out like you're doing an Egyptian walk. That wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but that's one way to travel. You, you do look back, and it's literally just a hole in the wall. Oh, did I do that? Ah, they've got plenty of money. They would fix it. No, no, the hole was there before you did anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then with that, we're going to take our first break. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we will be right back after a brief, like, what, 10, 15 minute break? Sure. Yeah. All right. Stay tuned, because we will be back. All right.
Hello! And welcome back. I guess I changed the music because I found one that I actually liked for this. Anyways. I smell so many smells. Now that we're all back, what would everyone There's like to one do? burning toast. Also, Alina, with the 17 survival check, you would be able to get a few tufts, uh, a bit of hair, and um, a finger. Yep. A finger. A finger. A hag finger. I'm sure we could do something with it. Just don't eat it. Well, you I'm might just... have to. Oh no. Listen, don't I've seen someone eat not... a finger before. It's not worth. <laughs> it didn't end well. <laughs> Excuse me. I meant like more like potion wise. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know what you meant, but I chose to <laughs> misinterpret it. Yeah. Anyways, what would the rest of you like to do as well? Uh, I would like to make an announcement what? to the group. Did I meet up with the group back first? I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, I may have started the fire what, what do you mean the, the fire what, what does that mean yeah when I sent me to the little silk room I'm guessing they were planning on killing me but I had uh, other plans you know I like living so I kind of killed the spiders in there and on accident my blade may have set the webs on fire why do you always cause problems for us what do you mean always you forgot us arrested, and now you're setting the building on fire. My robot friend over there is gonna burn. Did you think of bringing them along to save their robotic life? How was I supposed to know who they were in danger? I asked if he wanted to go. He said he just wanted to make toys. He can make toys anywhere. He can even open a shop. What? Well, you That's tell him that. Here. Where is he? He's in the room right there that I just came out of, right to the left of me. Jesus Christ. Okay. The way I see it, this place could come down at any moment. Well, not any moment, but it is eventually going to come down. So I say, everyone pick a room, explore what we need to, and we get the hell out of here. Can I come also, okay, what the fuck are, what are, what are those? I don't know. Can I go to this silk room? No. Oh, but I want to see the fire. No, you'll see it. You'll see it soon. I promise. Ref, I taught Joy. Remember, Joy, fire hurts. Very much. I went to investigate the uh, cauldron. All right, go ahead and roll an Arcana check. Well, while he's doing that, I'll pick my door too. Uh. I'm feeling this one. Hey, you're a guy. <laughs> yes. This is chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain to you how saddening it was. It went from a net 20 and slid over to a two. Yep. Every time. You do that. All right, let's do one of the same. Yep. Yeah. Do an arcana check, please. Nice. All right. This is a. Um, a pink dye that is embedded with hypnotic pattern. Hypnotic? Like, if if they activate the pattern on their clothing, it will put someone to sleep? Like, if somebody looks at the dye too much, they'll be attracted towards it. They'll become, like, uh, easily manipulative. Manipulated. Can I take some of this with me? Hmm. You can try. I don't like the way you said that. Uh, you kind of need, you need a bottle or something. I think touching the stuff's a bad idea. Uh, do I have bottles with me? You can check one of the rooms. Maybe you'll find one. I got water skins. There's bottles on the tables. Fair enough. 
Some of I them are full of stuff, but some of them are empty. We can just go grab one and fill it up. How many empty bottles are there? Those three jars next to Joy. Those. Oh, let me take those. Can I, I check the uh, chest in front of me? Sure. <laughs> you. It is locked. Take it with your almighty fist, turtle man. Uh, I, I will punch the lock. <laughs> okay, you go ahead and roll me an attack and damage. Arlo, roll me an acrobatics check. Uh. You hit. All right. Nice. You reach in and start scooping up some of the liquid, and your fingers kind of trace along the top of it. Go ahead and take one fire damage. Ow. As it burns your fingers. It's boiling. Owie. It's literally boiling hot. <laughs> it's okay. I might sell some of this to the, uh, the merchant guy. Yeah. What did you find a ladle? Uh, <laughs> you see that big stick that's poking out of it? Yeah. You see, we don't talk about that. I thought I was going to be able to just dump it in there and scoop it out, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like a bucket in a well. It is glowing and steaming. That's what they all think. Anyways, <laughs> we are going to move on to Alina and Joy for now. Oh, wait, no, uh, sorry. Urgai went ahead and punched the lock with what kind of damage? Uh, Just my regular fist. All right, bludgeoning damage. You deal 11 damage to this lock. And you watch, you hear as a nice, satisfying clink. Uh, that was terrible. Clink. As you uh, just knock it out of place, breaking the lock. I will open the box. All right. You see some white fabric. Take it. It is very soft, very durable. Almost like it's made out of spider silk. Hey, come look at this. I yell across the room. Huh. Uragai beckons you all to look at this fabric that he found. Specifically Arlo's. <laughs> Specifically, Arlos. But I'm in front of this chest right here. That I can't it wait. <laughs> I, I like, I, I like gesture for him to come over. Uh, maybe later when we're not in a dire situation of having this place burn to the ground. Anyways, with that, you find you see the fabric. You call Ar Arlos over, and you would just wait. However, Joy and Alina, you come over to this area. In a small hallway leading to a door. As Joy just gets more curious and curious. She walks up to the door, her mom close behind her. And does she open the door? Or does she set it on fire? Jesus. I have to ask, it's Joy. I will open it. Okay. Joy opens the door. And inside you see a nice, beautiful botanical room. With some wildlife in there. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> uh, you two, go ahead and roll for initiative. As I will add the spider to the initiative as well. It looks pet-sized. 
baby spider. Can I baby talk the the baby spider and be like, "Who's a good little spider?" <laughs> Suddenly just gets attacked like a face hugger. <laughs> oh god, the turn order popped up. I don't think the spider's lasting very long. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that's one of my worst fears? It's like a spider or like a crab just jumping on my face like that. Or like an octopus or something. Yep. <laughs> Did you know that uh did you know that coconut crabs cr climb trees, so technically would coconut crab could land on your head? Yeah. Well, see, coconut crabs are heavy enough that if it did land on your head, you'd probably be dead. Yeah. There's also a better, uh, coconut crabs ate Amelia Earhart. That, that, is, that is a likely theory. The more you know. <laughs> The more the adventures you know. in the Ferris team, <laughs> which apparently the uh, what did we say existed? England. Yes, England exists. <laughs> <laughs> the, England is canon. The because we were talking about the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> uh. Oh, that feels forever ago. Holy shit. Sammy? It was quite literally last year. We lost Sam again. Sam has been talking this whole time. I see the bottle moving. Sam, no. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, no. Sammy, no.